growing pains last season, but what do you like about this year's squad that's uh, what you've done over the summer that's making you feel pretty good about yourselves? Um, a lot. Um, seniors been stepping up a lot. Um, we're more like a family this year. If we get in trouble, everybody pays for it, not just one player. Um, a lot of a lot of our players been putting in work outside of just outside of just four from six. A lot of a lot of players been putting in work from like three a days, two a days. That's mainly it. Who are some of the guys that, uh, that we should be keeping an eye on from this both side squad this season? Definitely our running back Caleb Kingalay, um, receiver Jamari Pearson. Uh, we got some new kids at defense like. Uh, we got Marcus. Um, you'll see him during the season for sure, though. Absolutely. When you take a look at the SAC, you know, it's now in that A and B divisions. But where do you feel like you guys can stack up uh, in that B division this season? I think we can be at the top. Um, I, I feel like it set, it set, us for, it set up for us to win. Um, I think we can um, fight with anybody. Um, that's mainly it, though. For sure. Uh, you know, it's official practices went around August 5th. What do you guys need to do these last few weeks to make sure you are ready to play winning football? Just go 100 percent in practice every day. Um, keep everybody accountable. Keep the seniors accountable. Don't let the um, younger kids fall off. That's it. This is probably the hardest question. If yeah. you had to say one nice thing about your biggest rival, Southside, what would it be? Um, I like the jersey. All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, this year we actually like more as a team. Like instead of like the past years where we like argue a lot, we get we, we hold people accountable and we just go on to the next play. Um, when you take a look at this team, um, some growing pains from last season, but how do you hope that can sharpen this team and try to build off of that for this coming season? Uh, we just got to see what we did wrong last year and then make corrections for this year. Uh, Jamari Pearson, and on defense, James Early, and then, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, definitely can't miss those guys. Uh, just knowing uh, the SAC is now in those two divisions, where do you feel like you guys can stack up in that B division this season? We could finish number one in, all, in the whole conference. Simple enough, man. Uh, once week one rolls around, or once August fifth rolls around for the official practices, what do you guys need to do as a team to make sure you guys are ready to win uh, for week one? We just got to come back from moratorium and we got to go strong. We got to go hard in the weight room. We got to take a coaching. We got to do everything right. The little things matter. All right. Probably the most important question for me, if you had to say one nice thing about your biggest rival Southside, what would it be? Nice weight room. All right, I'll, I like that. I like that. Um, it starts with our senior class. They are a tight knit group. Um, you know, this senior class have seen success and they haven't seen success. So they know exactly what it takes um, in order for this team to be successful this season. So um, I'm excited. Take a look at last season. But how do you hope to build off of that and hope that sharpens this team for this coming season? Um, our. our like I said, our senior classes know like what our issues was last year, and it was more so we needed more depth and just more discipline. And um, you know, we we have been you know just working hard and just staying focused and um, being committed and staying uh, you know disciplined to you know what our process is over the summer, so we can have a great fall. So our leaders are great this year. Um, our coaching staff, we all on the same page. So we are just excited for what's to come for the fall. What do you feel like you guys can stack up? Now that the SAC is in those two divisions, what do you feel like you guys can stack up in that B division? Man, I, I just feel like, you know, as far as the whole SAC, anybody can, you know, win on any given night. Um, it's to me, you know, you don't have like that clear cut winner. Um, every week is just tough. You know, I don't want to sit up here and say we're going to be at the top. And obviously, I'm a coach, so I don't want to say we're going to be at the bottom. So I'm just going to say, you know, we're going to. We're going to play 48 minutes of Northside football, and, I, and I'm excited to see what this group is going to do. We have a lot, a lot of talent, and um, these kids work hard, but all the other teams do too as well. So we're just going to give our best effort each and every night. You know what, just all that talent you have all this good this season. Yeah. How do you put it together over these last few weeks to make sure you are ready to play winning football coming up a lot? Oh, man, it's, that's a great question. You know, over the summertime, you're conditioning, you're lifting weights, you're running them a lot. And then now it's like we're just trying to polish. 
you know. So we're just going to be focused on polishing, staying disciplined, not turning the ball over. You know, just the basic fundamentals of football, blocking and tackling, um, not caring who gets the credit, um, and just playing for each other.